Hello and welcome. It is Friday, 22nd day of June 2018. My name is Derek. I'd like to welcome you to the Money Charts channel. All investing decisions, like always, within your own risk, own reward. But first, a little bit of housekeeping. I have decided to block words on the comments section and block links. Approved users can still post links. I got a few people that have been approved. So if you want to post a link, you... Um, you're going to have to uh, basically uh, let me know and then I can approve the comment for such. The words Z-I-L-L, -L, Airdrop, and Odyssey, they seem to be like the keywords for every single one of the cockroach-type comments that's been going on for months and months now. Hopefully, this will fix that problem. The thing about it I didn't like about it was I had to like uh, hide users comments all the time from doing it and I didn't like doing that because if I accidentally took a legit comment from that that would suck and I kind of did today so I had to remove all of those and there was a lot of them hopefully this will fix the problem anyway onto the video Bitcoin can only do one of two things as far as I'm concerned we're looking at a lot of data or at least on the Bitstamp exchange weekly term time frame it's either going to go down to pretty much nothing or to nothing or it's not. What I don't expect to happen is for it to say go down to like 25 and then over the next 50 years trade between 25 and like 380. That doesn't have a chance of happening or anything of that type of nature. It's either going to pretty much or do exactly nothing or it's not. And if it's not, that means the price is most likely going to go significantly higher or at least chop around in some of these areas in here. Either one of these two outcomes to me is fine. If it works out that this is the example and this is the top, well, it's going to suck. And I'm going to be at least, it's going to be bittersweet that I was uh, buying silver at these key tops before it happened. Hence the reason why I am using it as a hedge strategy and will continue to do so with these outcomes come into play. I have halted buying physical silver via precious or via uh, cryptocurrencies now. But if I see price go down to three, back up to six, yeah, I want to buy some more because I'm doing, I'm going to be doing well from the time of going from three to six and so on. Just how it is. But all of the moves that I'll be making is going to be realizing this is either going to be very, very profitable. The fact that this 3,000 level, the break of 6,000 that I talk about is happening. It's going to suck as it's going on. I look at my portfolio value, ooh, lower, 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 lower. But then I realize if it works out, as I'm hoping it does, price goes to three, I get out of all of the tethers and all of those kinds of deals, buy the buy the altcoins, market starts going back higher, 6,000, 7,000. Oh, buying, buying silver again because I bought XBY maybe at 220 and it was cheaper doing it with buying from the tether. Now it's back up to 750 and I think it's going to go higher, but I'm just going to sell a bunch of it and maybe buy myself 100 or 200 ounces of silver and then move on to the next trade kind of deal. But why not profit on the volatility? I mean, it's, I know how to do it. So I'm, that's what my plan for such is doing. Because uh, as I mentioned, if, you, if a market were to do something like this, then I would expect fully that when the market gets back to these previous highs from here, that I'd be doing a lot better than I was in here. And if it comes back to this key level here, I plan on doing being better here than I would here because of all of this opportunity to buy and sell some stuff. And now that's the opportunities that I'm looking for myself as the price action is stating that it's probably going to go down lower. Within the act of doing such, yeah, the portfolio will go down because I'm at the spot that no matter what happens or no matter what, if it bottoms at any time, I'm gonna, it's going to work out for me. I have got more long Bitcoin than I do short. And I realize again that if you held on to everything here, that you got profits here. Meaning, people who hold or bought here having a situation of the market going up, they're doing nothing, they're going to have profits. I'm just looking to try to get more. 
And really, that's all I can do as a trader. Do the best that I can to get myself in the best position, realizing not everything's going to work out. There's going to be mistakes along the way, but there's going to be the opposite of mistakes as well. Thus, successful plays. And psychology-wise, my brain is already trained, in a sense, to just handle these types of moves because that's part of the volatility. I expected that knowing this coming in and I realized that having a good correction now and again, that's just part of the game. For Bitcoin is very close to having 1,000 consecutive days in a row. It's at around 940 or 920 right now of being up year over year or over the last 365 days. 365 days ago, where was Bitcoin? Well, it was, uh, we're looking at June 22nd. So we were looking at like, uh, what, two, $3,000 Bitcoin? 2100 So it's up like 3x in that time. Oh, it's been up 50x and 80x and 10x over and over and over again but it really hasn't went below 5x to the downside at all during any of this data because I actually calculated it. If we go to 3,000 soon, this would be the biggest year-over-year -year decline since this time frame here started. So that's just the nature of this business that stuff like this has got to happen. I realize at a significant break below 6, there's going to be a lot of fear. There's going to be a lot of panic. And that's what's going to help drive these prices lower. This is normal market psychology. So I'm going to act upon it, which means that on the break below six, there is not that much. There is no buying of Bitcoin until even close to 5,000. And at 5,000, I barely buy. And I barely buy again at four, and I buy everything at 3,000. That's my plan. I realize that the next key level below 3,000 is 1,000, but I'm not going to, I don't think it's going to come down there. I mean, it could, but I'm going to be playing on the play that Bitcoin goes down to three. And if it does, I'll have my buy orders ready. If it doesn't, well, then those buy orders will stay in U.S. dollar tethers and such, and I'll even add to those numbers as the prices go higher. Because what do you think people are going to be saying if a significant decline happens? They're going to be talking about the bubble. It's over. Uh, they're always talking about it when it's at major lows and, and capitulation. And during the euphoric situations, it just seems like people think it can't stop going higher. Crazy, crazy world. And I'll end it by just showing ETC against BTC. And all I'm going to talk about here is markets go way up and then they go up, down, down big. The nature of these moves are going to happen. So I've been selling some, I was selling ETC on the way up. Now I'm starting to buy it back. Just keyword starting to. And that's to me how I look at the market. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. You know that coming in. So, in four years from now, the market's going to have another move. Who's going to care about what's happening today other than a small basic reference point? And have yourself a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.